Hey guys, we're getting here. Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing off the best exporting settings for uh, ScreenFlow 4 or 5, and yeah, let's get into it. So you go to File, Export, um, don't use Motion Blur, it just makes the video to not look that good, and I'll scale it to custom size, put it as, if if you want it 1080p, put it like that, if you want it, I usually have 720 for now, so I'll put it at 1280 by 720 and then I'll customize. And change the frame rate to 60 and the bit data rate to 3000. And if you want to um, export it in 1080p, then change it to 5000 instead. And then those are don't, that's all good. Uh, and then export it. Alright, so I rendered it twice for you guys. For one, and this one's in and seven, this one right here is in 720p. And then and this one over here is in 1080p. I mean, they both don't look that great, to be honest, but, like, if it doesn't look that great until you actually, like, go to YouTube.com and upload it, and I'll actually do that for you guys, so give me a second. Alright, guys, so this is in 1080p, so yeah, take a look at this. Alright, guys, so this is a test video, uh, obviously, for the exporting settings, and yeah, bye. Alright, guys, so I should re-export the video in 720p and 3000 data rate, because that's what I usually do it at for 720p videos, and yeah, this is how it turned out. Alright guys, so this is a test video, uh, obviously, for the exporting settings, and yeah, bye. Alright, well guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please hit that like button, and yeah, comment down below if you need any help or if you like the settings, and yeah, bye guys.